everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to see an exact equation problem. So, let's get started. Solve 2xy plus y minus tan y into dx plus x square minus x tan square y plus secant square y into dy equals to 0. Solution given differential equation. Two x y plus y minus tan y into dx plus x square minus x tan square y plus secant square y into dy equals to zero. Consider as equation number one. This equation is of m dx plus n dy equals to zero form, right? This is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form where by comparing these two we will get m equals to 2xy plus y minus tan y and n equals to x square minus x tan square y plus secant square y. If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential is an differential equation is an exact equation. So let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x. Do m by do y equals to do by do y of m for m equals to 2xy this is your m and this is your n. 2xy plus y minus tan y this is equals to do y do y of 2xy here we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so x is treated as constant here 2 is also treated as constant plus do y do y of y minus do y do y of tan y is equals to here 2 and x are constants right Write the constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y plus you can write this as partial derivative of y with respect to y minus partial derivative of tan y is secant square y with respect to y right is equals to 2x into you can write this as dou y by dou y plus partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus secant square y is equals to 2x into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus 1 minus secant square y. got dou m by dou y is 2x into 1 is 2x plus 1 minus secant square y. Okay. Fine. Let it be. Now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to dou by dou x of n for n equals to x square minus x tan square y plus secant square y. Here we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, right? So y is treated as constant. Here tan square y and secant square y are constants. Is equals to partial derivative of x square with respect to x minus partial derivative of x into cos.
constant tan square y plus partial derivative of constant secant square y is equals to partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x minus constant tan square y into partial derivative of x with respect to x plus partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0 is equals to 2x minus tan square y into you can write this as partial derivative of x with respect to x is equals to 2x minus tan square y into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 is equals to 2x minus tan square y. Okay. See, you have 2x but you have minus tan square y in partial derivative of n with respect to x. So, what we are going to do is we are going to replace 1 minus secant square y. We know that 1 plus tan square theta equals to secant square theta. Right. Then 1 minus, you take this secant square theta to LHS and tan square theta to RHS. You will get 1 minus secant square theta equals to minus tan square theta. Now replace theta by y. Then you will get 1 minus secant square y equals to minus tan square y. Right. So now we can replace this 1 minus secant square y by minus tan square y. So this equals to 2x plus if we replace 1 minus secant square y by minus tan square y we will get dou m by dou y is equals to 2x plus into minus minus tan square y. Right? Therefore, dou m by dou y equals to 2x minus tan square y. Again, this is equals to dou n by dou x. Right? Therefore, dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x. Since dou m by dou y partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. From this we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. Consider as equation 1. Therefore, 1 is an exact equation. Okay. Now we can find the general solution to the given exact equation. We know that the general solution of exact equation is given by integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to constant. Right? So consider the first integral, integral over x m into dx which is equals to here we'll be integrating m with respect to x, treating y as constant is equals to integral of m for m equals to 2xy plus y minus tan y into dx since y is treated as constant so y y tan y are constants here 2 is also constant this equals to integral 2xy into dx plus integral y dx minus integral tan y dx is equals to 
Let's write the constants outside the integral 2 and y, y and tan y. 2y into integral x dx plus y into integral dx minus tan y into integral dx. We know that integral x dx is x squared by 2 plus y into integral dx is x minus tan y into integral dx is x. So, integral over x m into dx is here to get cancelled x square y plus x y minus x tan y. Now consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. We have n equals to x square minus x tan square y plus secant square y. Terms that does not involve x is secant square y, right? This term involves x, so we can't take this. And here also we are having x, so we can't take this also. So the terms of n free from x is secant square y is equals to integral secant square y into dy. We know that integral secant square y dy is equals to tan y. Okay. Then. The general solution of exact equation is the result obtained from the first integral x square y plus x y minus x tan y plus result obtained from the second integral tan y equals to constant c or we can write this as x square y plus take x common from the next two terms x times y minus tan y plus tan y equals to c which is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.